Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media. I'm here to give you a brief uh, uh, outcome of the cabinet uh, resolutions this morning, the special cabinet meeting chaired by His Excellency the President. Uh, His Excellency the President chaired an emergency session of the cabinet meeting this morning. Uh, the session of cabinet was convened, as you're all aware, uh, when he spoke on Saturday, to assess the impact of extreme weather as manifested in the above normal rainfall and uh, short rains classified by the meteorological department as the El Nino phenomenon. It has resu resulted from the El Nino, of course, what has happened is that we have seen widespread flooding uh, that has regrettably led to the loss of lives, displacement of families, disease outbreaks, destruction of infrastructure and property, as well as prolonged power outages uh, across Kenya and many parts uh, of the East, Eastern Africa region. Cabinet, first and foremost, condoled with the bereaved families and all fa uh, persons adversely affected uh, by the devastating effects of this weather phenomenon. Consequently, Cabinet has sanctioned various policy and administrative interventions to augment the ongoing state mitigation and response being implemented by the national and county governments. As part of the preliminary assessment of the severity of the situation across the country, the meeting noted that 38 out of our nation's 47 counties are within the alarm stage, uh, a stage characterized by flash floods, general flooding in low-lying uh, plains, rivers busting their banks, landslides and mudslides, loss of livestock and destruction of farmland uh, and infrastructure. Cabinet noted with regret that we have lost 76 Kenyans to El Nino, while 35,000 households have been displaced. The most severely uh, affected areas are in the north, northeastern, eastern and coast regions specifically, but of course there are more counties, as we're talking about 38, I'll just uh, uh, list them for you. In northeastern, the affected counties are Mandera, Wajir and Garissa, so that's the entire northeastern region. Uh, coast also, the entire region, Kilifi, Mombasa, Tana River, Taita, Taveta, Kuali, and Lamu. In central, Muranga, Nyeri, Kiambu, and Kirinyaga. In eastern, Isiolo, Kitui, Machakos, Makweni, Marsabit, uh, Meru, and Tharakanidi counties. Uh, in Nyanza, the entire region as well, Homa Bay, Kisumu, Migori, and, uh, and Kisi. Western, Bungoma, Busi, and Kakamega counties. Rift Valley, uh, the counties include Baringo, Bomet, Kajiado, Kericho, Nandi. Narok, Turkana, Transoia, Hosingishu, and West Pokot, and of course, in Nairobi. The state uh, had allocated 7 billion shillings with which it is implementing various programs to address the plight of Kenyans across the country. The funds were appropriated by Parliament and the Contingencies Fund as part of the 2023-2024 financial year budget and supplementary appropriations number one of the same financial year. The resources committed will be applied for humanitarian response including distribution and supply of medical commodities, food and non-food items, rehabilitation of infrastructure, and resettlement of displaced families. The state's intervention is being undertaken uh, in, joint in a joint effort between the national and county governments, and which incorporates the Kenya Defense Forces and the National Youth Service in operation with the Kenya Red Cross Society. Through aircraft, aircraft made available by the Kenya Defense Forces, medical supplies have been airlifted uh, to the most vulnerable counties. I'll go to some specific measures that the government has already taken uh, since the president spoke uh, on Saturday. To support farmers who have been adversely affected, the government has dispersed 500 million shillings to the new KCC to mop up excess milk during this rainy season. Uh, the government has also airlifted medical supplies worth 180 million shillings uh, through the KDF and in conjunction with the Wajir County government to Wajir County. Infrastructure restoration is being implemented following damage caused by rains. The works on the following uh, roads and bridges have been repaired. One, Bogolo Bridge on the Mtwapa Malindi Road has been repaired. Jilango Center on the Nuno Modugashi Road has been repaired. Madade Center on the Wajir Mandela Road has been repaired. Ohio Center on the Nuno Modugashi Road has also been repaired. Karbakole in Mandera, the quality end of the tarmac there, has been repaired. And the Garissa airstrip has also been repaired and commercial flights uh, will resume tomorrow. And of course, it will really uh, go a long way in coordinating uh, relief efforts. Ongoing works to be completed by tomorrow, Tuesday 28th, include repairs at Malim Tokbub on the Nuno Morugashi Road and Kotulo uh, Mandera on the Wajir Mandera Road. 
The works in, pro in progress include uh, Tula on the thicker uh, Garissa Road, a red on the thicker Garissa Road also, and Moyale to Ramu Road in Mandera through Bute in Wajia. To fortify the national response, the cabinet sanctioned the following additional interventions. One, scaling up the scope of humanitarian assistance to reach more than 50,000 households, especially in the arid and semi-arid uh, counties. The cabinet also observed that to support county governments in addressing the disaster situations in their respective areas, the national treasury uh, last week disbursed 10 billion shillings of their shareable revenue. Cabinet also directed the national treasury to release an additional 10 billion shillings to county governments this week, again, part of their shareable revenue. And of course, the government is encouraging the counties, as much as it's part of the shareable revenue, government is encouraging counties to try and reallocate some of these funds uh, to the dire situation now uh, occasioned by these floods. The government also directed the enhanced deployment of the KDF and all public civilian aircraft to transport medical supplies, food and non-food items for targeted distribution as recommended. It also sanctioned a proposal to be sent to parliament for the replenishment of the contingencies fund and the rationalization of the budget and the supplementary appropriations too of the current financial year. Cabinet also directed the National Treasury to further rationalize the current budget and, di uh, and direct ministries, departments, and agencies, uh, that is MDAs, to commence reallocation of funds in their budgets to support the emergency response being undertaken by the state. Scaling up of rapid response, rehabilitate dilapidated road networks and facilitate delivery of humanitarian assistance to the affected populations will also be done. And cabinet also sanctioned the distribution of over 150,000 mosquito nets to the affected counties. That is already happening. Cabinet also directed the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum in consultation with all agencies within the sector to give priority to maximum production, uptake and distribution of hydro-generated power. It further directed the Ministry of Energy to pass the benefit of lower electricity tariffs uh, to the public in a manner that promotes the increased use of hydro-generated power, which has presently increased to 20%, uh, while diesel has gone down from 15 to 